We are going on with Mathematics Paper 1 of November 2021. Question 7. The graph of fx equals to x plus 4, x minus 6 is drawn below. The parabola cuts the x-axis at b and d and the y-axis at g. c is the turning point of f. Line AE has an angle of inclination of theta and it cuts the x and y axis at A and E respectively. T is a point on the graph of F between B and G. 7.1. Write down the coordinates of B and D. So we know that the equation of F is x plus 4x minus 6. And the coordinates of B and D is the intercepts with the x axis. And at those intercepts, the y values are equal to 0. So to answer 7.1, I simply replace fx with 0. The temptation here is to multiply out, but you don't need to. You can simply find the x values by placing each bracket equal to 0. Therefore, the coordinates of b is negative 4 and 0, and the coordinates of d is 6 and 0. 7.2. Calculate the coordinates of C, and it was given that C is the turning point of the equation. So we were given that fx is equals to x plus 4 times x minus 6. And if I multiply that out, I have x squared minus 2x minus 24. And to find the x coordinate of the turning point, I say x is equal to minus b over 2a where a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 2. That means the x coordinate is minus minus 2 over 2 times negative 1. So the x value of the turning point is equal to 1. Now to find the y value of the turning point, I simply replace the x values in the original equation with 1. So that will be the y value is 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 6, and that is equals to negative 25. Therefore, the coordinates of C is x is 1 and y is negative 25. 7.3. Write down the range of f. So we know that the turning point of this function is at C, which is at 1 and negative 25. So the y value here is negative 25. And below this, the graph does not exist. So the range is for all the values of y above or equal to negative 25. So therefore, the range would be y must be bigger than or equal to negative 25. 7.4. Given that theta is 14.04 and the tangent of f at t is perpendicular to ae, first, Calculate the gradient of AE correct to two decimal places. So from our theory of the angle of inclination, we know that tan of theta is equal to the gradient of a line. So the gradient of line AE is a tan of 14.04, and that is equal to 0 0.25. 7.4.2. Calculate the coordinates of T. Now we are given information about t. It says the tangent to f at the point t is perpendicular to the line AE. So if I draw in a tangent line to the parabola, then that tangent line would be perpendicular to the line AE. So we know that the gradient of line AE is a quarter. And if I multiply that with the gradient of a tangent line, it will be equal to negative 1. Because the product of perpendicular gradients is equal to negative 1. And that allows me to find the gradient of the tangent by saying negative 1 divided by 0 0.25. So the gradient of the tangent is negative 4. Now I have the gradient of this line. I also know that the gradient of a tangent is represented by the first derivative of a function. So the first derivative is also the gradient of a line. And fx is equals to x squared minus 2x minus 24. 
and the first derivative of fx is equal to 2x minus 2. So therefore the gradient of this line is also 2x minus 2. So now I can take this expression which represents the gradient and set it equal to negative 4. And that will allow me to solve the x value. So therefore x of t would be equal to negative 1. And to find the y value of t, I replace x with negative 1 in the original equation. So that will be negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 24. So the y value of t is negative 21. Therefore, the coordinates of the point t is x is negative 1 and y is negative 21. 7.5. A straight line g parallel to AE cuts F at K negative 3 and negative 9 and at a point R. Calculate the X coordinate of R. So what it means on the graph is that there's a line G that is parallel to the line AE. And also that that line G cuts through F at negative 3 and 9 and also at another point R. And we want to find the x coordinate of this point r. So first we need to find the equation of the line gx. And what we know at points of intersection is that graphs are equal to one another. So fx would be equal to gx. And that will allow us to find this missing x value. So previously we found the gradient of line ae is equal to 0.25. That means that the gradient of line G would also be 0 0.25 because AE is parallel to the line G. Then we have a point through which this line GX moves and that will allow me to find the equation of the line GX. So I always prefer to use the straight line equation that is given on the formula sheet where Y1 would be negative 9 and x1 would be minus 3. So y minus negative 9 is equal to the gradient times x minus negative 3. And when I simplify, it is y plus 9 is a quarter x plus 3 quarters. And I found that quarter by multiplying 0 0.25 with x and 0 0.25 with plus 3. And if I simplify further, the equation of the line gx is a quarter x minus 33 over 4. Now I prefer to use an improper fraction instead of decimals because now I need to use this equation and set it equal to fx in order to find the missing x value of r. So we have the equation of fx and the equation of gx and to find the other point of intersection I would set these two equations equal to one another. So that is x squared minus 2x minus 24 is equals to a quarter x minus 33 over 4. Now if I multiply everywhere by 4, I will be able to get rid of the fractions. So that will be 4x squared minus 8x minus 96 is equal to x minus 33. Then I rewrite that equation in standard form. So I have 4x squared minus 9x minus 63. Now we can either factorize or use the quadratic formula in order to find x. So I know I already have a solution of x where x is minus 3. So therefore the one bracket would be x plus 3. That will lead to x equal to negative 3. And from here I can easily find the second bracket. So for x I need 4x because 4x times x will give me 4x squared minus 21 because 3 multiplied with 21 would be minus 63 and that will allow me to find a value of x. So the x of the r coordinate cannot be equal to negative 3. That x value has already been given or used. So therefore the x of the r coordinate must be the solution to the second bracket which is x equals to 21 over 4.